Janelle, thank you. Another big story tonight, the holiday travel rush. More than 54 million Americans are traveling to celebrate Thanksgiving. AAA says that is the highest travel volume since 2005. Right now you're looking at a live picture from Los Angeles International Airport, and we are told now that there are some delays in San Francisco due to some weather problems in that northern part of California. Meantime, here in southern Arizona, the Tucson International Airport says just about 15,000 travelers are flying for the holiday, and experts predict even more will be hitting the road. News 4 Tucson Stephanie Weaver live at I-10 and Sweetwater Drive with more on that part of the story. Steph? Yes, John, traffic is picking up, as you can see behind me, but AAA says that this week is going to be a busy one for travelers. In fact, Thanksgiving weekend will see more than 1 million Arizona travelers, and the vast majority, over 900,000, will be taking the roads. That's up 5% from last year. Michelle Donati with AAA Arizona says the best day to travel is on the Thanksgiving holiday itself and avoid returning Sunday if possible. If you can return Friday or Saturday, you will experience far less traffic than you would returning on a Sunday along with everyone else. AAA expects to rescue more than 6,800 Arizona travelers over the next five days. The most common calls for assistance will come from dead batteries, lockouts, and flat tires. And Quinton Mir with the Department of Public Safety says if you are in a minor accident... Don't sit there and wait for the officers. Make sure everybody's okay and then pull off into the emergency lane and then troopers will come to take the report. But don't stay there blocking traffic. That's the biggest problem. Everybody wants to get where they're going. So be patient, be courteous. Mm -hmm. It's DPS's uh, goal and desire to have a, a zero fatality holiday period. And the key words are be patient and be courteous. Triple A actually says that they receive a lot of battery call repairs, and that is due to the fluctuating temperatures, the cool mornings and the cool evenings. So you may also want to get a checkup if you're going to be hitting the road. And speaking of weather, let's head on over to Chief Meteorologist Matt Broad. He'll have more on your Turkey Day weather travel plans, right, Matt?